Okay, this will be more of a process video than it will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. Let me move these out of the way and I'll explain to you what I've done so far. I have wrapped my album cover using Tammy's three-part wrap. It lays super flat that way. What I have done, I have a cut list that will be in the description box when you see this. And all these pieces will be on there. I basically just wanted to explain to you how I went about putting this together so this way I can keep my video shorter. I just made an on-page pocket uh, with a piece of the brown cardstock. It is not uh, scored at the bottom. I don't want it to be flat so that I can put this box on top of it. And this is going to glue right here. And then I have this envelope style that will fit over the top of it. And I'm going to leave it loose right here so that will also be a pocket as well. So I'll just glue it on these three sides. And it just opens like this. You have a photo mat or journaling here. We have another little pocket here, which I haven't put anything in yet. And then it opens this way and we have a photo mat with journaling. And then there, you'd have room in here for quite a few photo mats because I have a quarter inch gusset on these little bumper guards there. So that will sit there. Then on the right hand side, whoops, I haven't put anything down because I wanted to explain to you. And I have all of this in the uh, score or in the cutting guide how to cut this, where all the score lines are, and how to put it together. So it's real easy, and there's one magnet in here is all. Then I have my hinge for the center. And it's just going to be three pages, and they're going to be a little bit different. They're going to be pocket pages, but a little bit different, so I'll show you that. And then I have three pages here that are going to be stair-stepped like a waterfall, which will attach right in here. Kind of center it. And this will be the closure. We'll go over to this side, and there will be a magnet underneath this little guy and the bottom back side of this page to hold that shut. So that is the inside and front and back cover. And let me lay this aside, well, in order to show you the pages. I have three pocket pages, and I have stair-stepped them, if you can see there. And there and what I did was I cut each one of the front pieces and that is the piece that is scored at a half on each side I notched it then on the back piece which is the flat piece I just angle cut the corners so it makes a pocket like that and then the second one will be just a little bit longer actually half inch so see you have one pocket here have your second pocket here and then you have your third and there are stair steps so that when you see them in the album they'll be one two three they'll be graduated like a waterfall so that is my game plan I have everything on the cut list already if I add anything else I will come back and let you know sometimes after I get so far along I think of something else I want to include but if that's the case, then I will come back and show you what I have decided to do. Alright, I'm going to finish embellishing these, glue all this down, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, I have put my three staggered pages together. Here's number one. And, of course, it'll be like this. This will be the right side up. And, like I said, these are pocket pages. So each one will fit over a hinge. And I made my pages a little bit bigger than, <clears throat> a little bit longer from top to bottom than the hinge. And I'm going to put a little dot of glue on each end so that when I put it down, I've got just a little bit of leeway in there. And I, I like that look. Now if you don't, you can make your hinge a little bit longer, that's okay. But this is, I did it this way on purpose. We'll attach this one. Then we'll attach the second one, just sits right over the hinge. It just makes them sit down on there so easy. 
and we'll line it up with the first one, or the back one. It's actually the third one. And then we'll put the first one on. And it will go like this. That way you'll see all three of them all the way through to the back. Isn't that cute? I just, I really like this. These papers are just adorable. So I'm going to add those to my album. And then I will come back and we will decorate the front. I think I have most of my pieces cut out. I've got to add my ribbon. And... I will, um, this is part of my front. I don't have it all. I will finish. Oh, yes, I do. I'll show you what I'm going to do to the front. I don't, it's the spine in the back I don't have cut out. I am going to place these two down. And this is just a piece of, um, it's kind of leathery looking paper, but it is paper that I had in my stash, and I just wrapped a piece of lightweight chipboard, and it's going to go in the center. And then I'm going to add some of the embellishments. This to the center of that panel. And then this little guy will be over to the side just a little bit. With this tag. Oop. You may be able to get a good idea. And this little... It says it's the little things. That's going to be my friend. And I haven't cut anything for the spine or the back yet. But um, I'll glue these three pages in and then we'll get back together for the, the outside. Alright. Okay, I am down to the end of this little project using the Photoplay Tulia and Norbert. Uh, this little album here we've been working on. Uh, I'm down to making the inserts for it. I need one for this pocket. One to go in here. Let me show you. It's a scrap. Got a pocket here. And then we can put some photo mats in here if we want. And there's a little pocket here. So that's three pockets so far. Then we've got this one is four. This one is five. That's a small one. This one is six. This is seven. And we have a tuck space here if I want something there. So we have seven, and these are the photo mat pages. Okay, so seven inserts we need. So what I do is I always leave that to last because I can use my smaller pieces and I don't want to cut up a big sheet and then need a big piece and I've already cut into it for little stuff. So I wait and do those last. I have a few stickers left. They're so cute. Um, let me lay the stickers aside. Then I've got all these small pieces. These um, enamel dots. I always want to call them candy dots. Those are left from another collection, but they match this one nice. We have all of these little pieces. It's white cardstock. So I'm going to lay all these to the side. Got some brown cardstock here. I need to put that in my little folder. I keep all my cardstock because I know a lot of people say they throw it away, but I don't. I sometimes I use the small pieces if I want to. Uh, if I wanted to elevate this little piece here, I could cut two or three layers of little small pieces and glue them together to uh, kind of pop that up. And that way it's brown on brown. And like when you use the um, uh, adhesive pieces, they're most usually white. And they show up against the dark brown stuff, brown cardstock and the black and some of the darker colors. I'm going to trim this little piece off a little bit. I have these cut aparts left. So we'll lay these to the side. 
Now this one, that's actually too little. I won't save that. But like something like this, I might find a use for it. And I, I don't want to throw away nothing. So here's some more pieces I had left. Get all these out of the way. I have these laid out. Designs that I know I'm going to use. Have all this ephemera. Let's lay these up here. I did make this little tag with one of the... Hmm, I think it was ephemera. I believe it came out of the ephemera collection. Get these out of the way. And this little tag, and I had a couple cut aparts that were left, and I backed them just on cardstock that was in my stash some yellow and some white. And I'll use those in some of the pockets as well as this. I'll punch a hole in it and add a little twine. These are actually things I probably won't use. Let me get the ones I want to keep out. Okay, we'll get rid of these tiny ones because we won't use those. Okay, so the first one I have <coughs> laid out is just a little folder. What did I do with that piece? I bet I put it over here with my scraps. I did. This was just a scrap, two pieces of scrap. And I, I scored this. I just punched an edge with a punch that I had. And I scored it and I just glued it along the edge so I can have a pocket on the back and a pocket on the front. And I'm going to put this in here. And it'll just give me a little tuck spot for photo mats or journaling or whatever. So that one will go there and then I'll have to cut something for the back. But there'll be another pocket back here. I thought that was a cute idea. Just a way to use up your scraps. Then I cut this one for a little booklet, and I just use all my scraps for this, guys. This is a piece that is 12 by 6, and I scored it at, let's see where I scored it, at 3 and a quarter and 7 and a quarter. And I just folded it like that. And I'll cut design papers to fit it. And then I'm going to add this little guy here, but I'm going to do it with a paper clip so that I can just remove him. This one is a tiny scrap I had, but something like this tag would look cute in there. And this is an, another punch that I had, and I'm going to trim this off. But I thought that made a really cute little tuck spot to add the design paper here and then just run this across the bottom and glue it down and then I can tuck something under it and I thought that was cute I'm just trying to come up with ways to use stuff and then I have another little folder here but this one's only got one score I'll tell you I get more dust around here it's the dogs six by eight scored at three and a half and I'll use another paper clip for that and I'll embellish the paper clips with some of the ephemera little pieces that I have. Now, <clears throat> I always go through my cardstock folder. I have these folders, these vinyl folders that I keep all my small pieces in. And it has pockets for all the different sizes. And I have one of these for each of my artisan. And I keep all my pieces together. And that way, if I need a belly band or, you know, whatever, I go to this before I cut into a 12 by 12 sheet. Now, I pulled these two out of there. And I don't want it to be more than six. Let me see. This one is five. This one is six and three quarters. So I'll probably use this five. Oops, Let me get, keep this with that, I'll lose it again. And I want this to have a little space for a tuck spot so I don't have to use a magnet or anything like that. So I'm going to score it at, I think, I think one and a quarter is enough. I just kind of play it by ear and go with the flow. 
So this is going to be my right hand side. This will be my tuck spot. And I want to bring this back about to there. So that is going to put my score mark right there. So that is three and a quarter. I keep my edges straight here. Okay, now I want to fold it back the other way so it makes a little booklet. And it doesn't look like I got the edges straight. Let me fix that. Might have to do a little trim work there. Okay, that's what I want. Let me do a little trim right here. My edge doesn't match perfectly, and I don't want that to be obnoxious looking. So with this, once I get my papers on it, and I'll just glue these two little ends down to hold it down. And I can use any ephemera or something like this to hold it closed. Little tags like this. That will be my game plan for that one. So what I will do is I will add, let me see, this is one, two, three, four, five. And I said I needed seven. This one will make six. Seven, eight. So I'll have plenty with these. So I will go ahead and I will get all my papers cut and glue these together and then I will come back with the final walkthrough so that you can see it. Um, if you don't have this paper collection and you want to follow along with the um, National Scrapbook Day, go over to Country Craft Creations and check out uh, Cartabella Spring Type Market. That is my the new design team collection that I just got the other day and it is so cute. Really, really cute. I think you'll enjoy it and it would really work up cute in this layout. So I will see you back shortly with the completed item um, tutorial. Thanks guys. Have a great day.